who lives in Warsaw will appear in court in Mansfield tomorrow morning. Armed police are still searching for a gunman who held up a building society office in York yesterday. The man's in his 40s with grey hair. The search has now been widened to Selby and Doncaster, where he's known to have been taken by taxi after the raid. Prison officers at Lincoln Jail have been meeting Home Office officials to discuss their concern over plans for a new secure unit to be built there. The warders feel that they and other inmates could be put at risk if the plans go ahead. The house in the mining village of Heath near Chesterfield where a mother and her two small children died in a fire yesterday will have to be demolished and experts say the house next door will also have to come down because it too is now unsafe. Terry Holmes, the former Welsh Rugby Union scrum half signed by league team Bradford Northern for £80,000, will not be playing again this season. He dislocated his shoulder for the second time in his first two appearances when he played in a reserve match last night. Now he faces surgery to pin the shoulder back into place. But Holmes says he's amazed at suggestions that his professional career is over before it's started. He says he'll definitely be playing again. And finally from me, the story of a baby who's causing her parents problems. John and Margaret Nelson from Chesterfield can't register their daughter's birth until an extra-large birth certificate is found. They'd drawn up a list of possible names for her and then couldn't make up their minds which one to choose. So they've given her the lot, all 139 of them. Well, that's it for tonight. Our next regional news will be on breakfast time tomorrow morning. But now back to London for the weather news. Good evening to you. We'll be uh, turning the heating up again shortly. I think winter's on its way back. In fact, it's already begun to turn somewhat colder. This area of low pressure has introduced these quite stiff westerly winds. So we've got rid of those frontal systems. That's uh, lucky because they brought about an inch of rain to many places today. And we're going to find quite a change taking place in the next 12 to 24 hours. There's the remains of the rain. A little bump in the cloud out to the west, though, that's going to slip across the south of the country later on tonight and just for a time reintroduce some rain. But it's the clearer showery weather that we're watching, really. That'll be with us for the next few days. Now, we're not only watching that clearer weather, but we're watching the wind direction. And we can see this on this particular chart. These lines, they're isobars. They join the places having the same pressure. And they more or less indicate the direction of the wind. And when I run the sequence, you see the way the area of low pressure itself moves down into the North Sea. And these lines, first of all, tilt towards the northwest. And eventually, especially over northern parts, more or less due north, an indication that the weather is going to turn pretty cold before tomorrow's out. Well, in fact, it's already beginning to turn cold. So as far as tonight's concerned, quite a few showers scattered about the country. Not all that many necessarily in the east, but in the west and north. Some will be heavy, there's hail in them. There'll be a sleet and snow too, especially over the hills in northern parts there. And later on in the night in the south, some more general cloud and rain coming along just for a time. But sufficient, I think, to hold the temperatures up there, whereas elsewhere it will be a pretty chilly night, a very windy night too, but just here and there where there's some shelter, there could well be a touch of frost. To begin with, in some of those southern counties, there will be some rain around, but that'll move away. And then basically tomorrow, a bright day, some sunshine, but a fair number of showers around as well. In fact, if anything, as the day goes on, the showers will tend to become more uh, heavier and more frequent. And I think many of them will turn to sleet or snow, especially in the north. And there'll be hail mixed in with them, thunder as well. In fact, those showers may well merge together to give you some longer spells of rain, sleet and snow. The northern half of Scotland having some pretty nasty weather before the day's out. The snow there drifting in those very strong winds. And of course the strong winds everywhere are going to make it feel quite cold. The new Radio Times features an article on Molly Keane's screen two play Time After Time about a feuding family in a country house in Ireland starring Sir John Gielgud. Is there nothing in your life except cooking? Yes, eating for one thing. We have to eat to live. We have to live together. The new Radio Times also features an interview with Richard Burton's widow as Pebble Mill at One launches a competition for playwrights, the Richard Burton Drama Award, with an entry form in the new Radio Times. There's a colour feature on Dynasty 2, the Colbys, who bring their glamorous world to Wednesdays on BBC One. You married a girl and you don't know her name? If she doesn't know who she is, I know I love her. And she loves me. Monday's Panorama investigates the Japanese boy scout who was one of the world's most successful heroin smugglers and traces the trail back to Pakistan. The network behind the scout who smuggled heroin is still in business today. In this warehouse on the northwest frontier, the biggest store of heroin in the world, seized by the Pakistani customs. 
on the streets of Britain, it would be worth over £6,000 million. Panorama chases the dragon on Monday on BBC One and on the cover of the new Radio Times. In 45 minutes, an extended sports night special features Milk Cup football with highlights of the game between Queen's Park Rangers and Chelsea and Aston Villa versus Arsenal. Before that, on BBC One, Desmond Wilcox catches up with newlyweds Mark and Karen in The Marriage. So Mark and Karen went on honeymoon to Copenhagen and on that first morning was their view of married bliss, rosy and romantic. Wedding's <laughs> over now. That's it. Get yeah. down to the ma married life. We're starting together We're taking a chance on what we feel We're starting together Because we believe our love is real We'll promise to have and to hold From this day forth until we're frail and old There's no chance of breaking We're starting together And suddenly everything is new We're starting together Not thinking of one anymore but two We both have so much that we can learn Trust and respect we've got to earn It can only get better Now we're starting together Starting together. Starting together. Starting together. The honeymoon's over, and it's back to Mark's flat in a Cardiff suburb. It always was a bachelor pad before, but that's his old reputation. And all that's going to change now he's brought home a new bride. His goings on used to keep the neighbours busy in the old days. They'll be as interested as anybody to watch him settle down as a married man now. Hello. Okay. Wedding presents. Go. Get my shoes off. There we are. Wash, clean up, and I'll go to bed. Right, I've got another case to get, and you can let the cats out. <laughs> 